have a good enough signal. Okay, yeah. How's the audio? No, uh, we're live. Okay. All right, friends. Um, I'm in Newark, New Jersey. I'm outside the headquarters of the Essex County uh, Police Headquarters, Essex County Campus Police Headquarters. Um, earlier today, I was at the Cedar Grove Police Department, and I'll explain why. You know, in the state of New Jersey, we have some of the toughest gun control laws in the United States of America, allegedly to protect us from firearms. In particular, there are two laws, C-239-3 C and C-258-5, which govern the possession and the transfer and the carrying of any firearm. They clearly state these laws that you cannot possess, own, or carry a firearm anywhere unless you have a firearms license. And the law is clear because there's a case called the Crossroads case, which clearly states there are absolutely no exceptions, no exceptions whatsoever. Someone who does not have a firearms permit, someone who does not own this firearm, cannot pick it up and carry it around anywhere, not even in your own home by the way, if you were caught, you would go to jail. But does this law govern United States Senator Bob Menendez? We're going to find that out very soon because just a week ago, Senator Bob Menendez did a press conference on a college campus called the Essex County of Safety, um, Public Safety Institute in Cedar Grove. He did a press conference in the parking lot with a table full of firearms. And during that press conference, Senator Bob Menendez picked up an AR-15 there's the picture right there. Folks, you can go to my website right now through the comments section uh, on my Facebook page and go to the link. And you can read the law. C239-5 and C258-3. You can read the case law of the Crossroads case in which the court said there are absolutely no exceptions whatsoever. Bob Menendez broke the law. When Bob Menendez picked up that AR-15, which you'll see in the video, which is also on my Facebook page, on my website, and he pointed that around, foolishly, by the way, if he knew anything about gun safety, he never would have pointed out at people. Um, he broke the law. And across the state of New Jersey, every year, a lot of people are arrested because of this issue. You can talk to lawyers like Evan Knappen, one of the great gun lawyers in the state of New Jersey, who defend these people constantly. Bob Menendez is not above the law. The law clearly states that there are no exceptions to this rule. And in my opinion, Bob Menendez clearly broke the law. So I took this to the Cedar Grove Police Department today, and they kicked it over to the Essex County College Police, and that's correct, it is their jurisdiction. Um, now the Essex County College Police, who I just met with a little while ago, have refused to allow me to file a complaint with them, which I believe they should allow me to file a complaint. In fact, I think they're required to. Instead, however, they've told me to take this right to the Essex County Prosecutor's Office. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because no one, not Bob Menendez, no other liberal Democrat who passes these laws that undermine our Second Amendment rights and put law-abiding New Jerseyans in jeopardy of being arrested for simply picking up a firearm, even in their friend's own home, under this law, anywhere, that he's above that law. He is not. He is not. So now let's see if New Jersey, with all of its common sense gun laws, is going to stand up to the right for every New Jerseyan. That's a police car going by. Uh, and make sure that the, the law applies equally to every citizen. Bob Menendez may have gotten away with his trial last time. But again, is Bob Menendez above the law? I don't believe he should be. There it is, folks. Bob Menendez holding a gun. He does not have a firearms permit. Well, not to my knowledge. Maybe he does. Maybe he hasn't told you there's a firearms permit. Maybe, it, maybe he does have it. We don't know. Let's find out. I would say he does not. Uh, Bob Menendez broke the law. You can read about it on my website. Continue to follow this breaking story. I think it's a huge issue because in New Jersey, liberal gun control Democrats are not exempt from the exact gun laws that they've passed upon us. Thank you, folks, for listening, and keep following this story.